Um, fix my hair. Make sure I look good for the video. Alrighty. I don't look good at all. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna be teaching every single one of you how to path on Kane. I have a bunch of different paths for season 11, so guys, we're just gonna kick it right off with my favorite path. This is the most common path, so we're gonna have different types of paths for different situations. Let me just try and explain. So ideally, what you're gonna look for is you're gonna look for who the enemies are playing, who your team is playing, and what your objective is for the game. Now, Kane's main goal as a champion is to get his form and to carry the game so ideally you want a path to get your form but also at the end of the day you are a jungler so you need to be doing what a jungler is doing which is out jungling objective control and setting up ganks for your team even if it means you're not always going to be ganking the right lane for the right orbs so ideally first things first we're going to start off with a what we call a ganking path this is one of the most dominant paths in the game it's very simple very basic this one requires a leash and it is just a full clear and i'm going to show you how to do it now this is something that you will be receiving at least so i'm going to be doing it a little bit slower than normal normally my fastest time on doing this clear is a 301 so 301 if you guys know that's really good 14 seconds for scuttle spawns there's two main ganking paths and these are ones that i've done for a while so if you're a long time viewer you're going to know them one is full clear with red start so i'm going to show you how to do that so ideally first you want to start red you never want to start blue so starting red is ideal now you guys may notice i'm queuing into the wall do a little bit kiting between camps in between autos get it to the wall queue as fast as you can in the wall now you want to hold your smite here and just kite it out and make sure you hit both of these go in this wall right here and every Q, you just want to make sure both hit. Let that die to the burn. Make sure you hit this with both Qs. And now you're going to want to wait right here because it's the fastest way to get to the Raptors. So you just want to wait right here. Q like that. Be over to the Raptors. Like I said, you want to save your smite, guys. You want to auto this big Raptor right here. Move back a little bit so you can line them all up. Hit this big raptor three times, run all the way back here, and boom. I want to put two in your queue right now. This will help you out. Now, with this camp, you're going to want to smite it immediately. That way it runs fast to you. It saves you about 0.1 seconds. Auto at one, two, three, E over. And then you want to auto this blue buff. One, two, three, Q back. Run over to the Gromp. And want to get them both lined up and you want to get them a little bit closer and that's perfect so you usually want to smite the grom and i just queue in the wall and if you guys can do this you can full clear way before 315 which is ideal for scuttle and now at this point in time see what you want to look for is you're going to be level four above the enemy jung so you can either fight the top scuttle or you can look for a mid gank, or you can look for a top gank. So there's a lot of opportunities for this. So that's path number one. All right, so now we're gonna get into path numero dos. Path number two. This one is very, very, very common. I used to do it all the time. This is what we call a ganking path. I'm gonna explain when to do it and why. So if you wanna do the full clear, it's if you want to gank top or mid early on, or if you're on the opposite side, vice versa. If you want to gank bot or mid. Now, if you want to gank bot or mid on this side, then what you want to do is you want to start off with wolves. So we're going to show you how that works out. So let the minions spawn. And you're going to want to ward that three seconds before the wolves spawn. You can tell because it'll say up here. Um, three seconds before the wolves spawn. And you're just gonna wanna kite this out. I wanna go finish the wolves here. This is a no leash path, so this is gonna be very helpful for your team. Doing no leash paths is very, very good because it helps hide what you're doing. A lot of junglers in high elo can track where you are based on your laners giving you a leash. So this is a very good path. And the reason why I put the ward on the blue is in case they wanna invade me or cheese me. It saves me from being invaded or cheesed. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of a, a little bit of a reactive path if 
the enemy jungle starts blue and I notice that they get a leash, then I'll go from wolves to their top side. Because the thing is, what they could be doing is they could go bot side to my top side and they could put me really behind because I have no blue to take at that point. So if I notice that the enemy started blue, I will go for the invade. Invading is a pretty common thing on Kane. Now this is a bit different because you don't actually put two in Q for this path. You want to level up your W. Now the reason why is because ideally with this path, you have two opportunities. You either have a gank bot or you can reset and get a long sword and look to fight that top scuttle because by the time I run all the way over there, it should be spawning and I should have a smite charge. So I would just run immediately there with a long sword. Control ward, you're only level three, but you're going to have 10 bonus damage to look for a fight and you're going to be there um, about like five, six seconds after it spawns, which is definitely enough time to kind of make it to the... Uh, area ideally normally i sell my trinket for sweeper as well so you want to make it all the way over here just control it right there and then fight the top scuttle and that's path number two now we're gonna get into path number three so those are two ganking paths we'll call them we'll, we'll just say they're the ganking paths and now we're gonna get into more diverse things so this next path actually is gonna be very good against early gank junglers. So we're talking Lee Sin, Xin Zhao, Elise. We have Pantheon. Uh, junglers that are not likely to be farming a lot. Because a lot of junglers farm in this meta, but some do not. And there's a very, very good pathing method to outperform them, outpace them, and just overall have control. Now this is something that I do very often. I get very comfortable with just warding my own blues. So 30 seconds before... The, um, the camp spawn, which normally, like I said, it tells you up here, but since I'm in practice tools, you know, the time is a little bit off. But um, normally what you want to do is as soon as you hear minions are spawning, you just go give a ward over this blue wall. And then I'm going to show you what you're going to want to do. So any early game junglers that gank a lot, you're going to want to do this path into. It's very, very, very good. So minions have spawned, ward my blue. And you'll see exactly why. I'm gonna explain this path to you and why it's so good. So I don't have like a time for reference because practice tool is a little bit buggy and I'm doing this all in one go. So this is gonna be a very fast full clear. It's typically finished at about 317. So about two seconds after scuttle spawns. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start Raptors, no leash, which is good for your team once again, no leash. And you're gonna wanna start Raptors and Raptors will respawn in two minutes. Now you're gonna skip out on red here and you're actually gonna use your smite on Krugs. You're gonna use your smite on Krugs, you know, wait for it to be a little bit low. And you're gonna wanna do your red buff after. Now the reason that you do your Raptors to your Krugs is so you reset them faster. So both of these camps I'll be able to farm again in the same first clear. So the whole like reasoning behind doing this clear is to get a massive farm advantage so the enemy jung will be at about 20 to 24 cs based on their situation or like their you know if they're prioritizing ganking or farming but junglers who can't farm fast and don't really intend on invading you that's why i support it because a lot of afk farm junglers can and will invade you so ideally you want to look to go through this tower as well I messed up, so I had to queue over it because I didn't want to look bad. Okay, so ideally what you want to do is you just farm your wolves, blue grump. But yes, as I was saying, you're going to be farming all your camps. Kind of like a full clear. And it's going to take off even more after that. So this is uh, AFK farm clear. And the best thing about this is that you're going to have an iron spike whip on your first reset. So this is just to get a huge CS and XP advantage and your first reset you're going to have a huge like damage power spike. So I've actually been able to get level 6 at 5.5 minutes with this path due to being able to gank and all this. So setting up a gank after doing this clear is very crucial. So as you guys can see I'm going to farm scuttle now and then you can see my raptors is already starting to respawn. So this is about like 317, 318, 319 on the normal League of Legends clock. 
And now, ideally, what you want to do is you can look for a mid gank. Usually, you can path behind here. But if there isn't one, then you just run straight the mid lane. And ideally, you're going to be giving up either bot or top scuttle. If you notice the enemy jungle is a top scuttle and you don't want to fight him, which, I mean, usually you can because you'll be level 4, then you don't have to. But that's what you're going to want to do. Do raptors. And now, you're going to be doing krugs. So, like I said, you're going to have 36 CS through someone's 20, 24 CS. And if you don't think that's huge, that is a lot. To be this ahead in the first like four minutes of the game is very, very nice. So at about four and a half minutes, you're gonna be level five. And you get a first reset iron spike whip, which I'll show you guys how much damage that actually does for you. And you'll see it's a pretty massive power spike. So iron spike whip. And now look at the damage. So 89 physical damage with the active alongside with the 30 damage total flat on your Q. It's, it's a level 3 Q, so that's a lot of damage. So this is going to be a huge path for early game junglers. Now, on to the next path. This clear is very, very um, uncommon, but I do it into AFK farm junglers. So the other one was good into... Uh, early game junglers that are stronger than you early on. It's good to avoid them It's good to just build up that advantage and outscale them now This is actually going to be a punishing path for afk farmers So we're talking about Zach, Evelyn, Karthus, Lilia. Believe it or not, Kane's actually a lot stronger than them level one. So <laughs> Ideally what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to look for their top side And if you're on the opposite side of the map It's gonna be their bot side and the way that you're gonna want to look for this You're gonna ask your team to five man invade. You're gonna path like this you're gonna path through here and you're gonna go like your James Bond sneaking around the jungle so you're gonna just want to go all the way here this isn't a late invade this is just if you have a strong top laner you can late invade the red which would mean that you go right as like the red buff is spawning but ideally yeah you want to just ideally you'd want to sneak around towards this bush like this you don't want to go in that one so you want to sneak around to this bush sneak around to this bush and this is going to be a very good pathing against, like I said, AFK, Farm Junks, Evelyn, Zach, uh, Karthus, um, maybe even Kha'Zix. But ideally what you're going to want to do is going to want to go to the enemy Jung. And now if they started red, which ideally they, they wouldn't start red because you'd either find them and kill them or whatnot. You want to ward blue. I want to ward there so they're gonna start blue and this is a very cooperative path so you're gonna need your team to ward your bot side so i would tell my team team ward bot side Here's and lights. you go no leash this is good. very important yeah i want to smite red um so you want to go no leash and you just want to do all this path and ideally what you're going to be keeping your eyes on is if the enemy goes to your red or if they show on this board and you also want to keep an eye on the top gang if you can top gang now if you can successfully pull off this invade you're going to have a huge advantage and you're going to be able to win now where to go after the invade is very important this is the things that people get lost with so you can actually clear your entire top side and still be done before the scuttle spawns so ideally if you put two in your queue let's say there isn't a gank if if the enemy top is pushed past this zone then you can look to gank top so you can look to set up a play right there but if there isn't one then you just want to farm blue gromp and then do wolves and then go top scuttle and contest that if you see the enemy jungle is still top side if you see them go top side then run bot side what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to raptors and farm red and then do bot scuttle you're not going to be level four but you'll be able to contest them easy because you're going to have an advantage okay guys on to the next path I actually forgot, I made this path up while jungling against one of the best junglers in NA. He's actually a Turkish jungler, his name's Closer. Um, I, <laughs> I bantered with him a little bit in solo queue, and he's, uh, he's a very good, very well respected player. But there is actually a couple more paths in League that are a little bit under the radar. And I'm going to show you guys kind of how to do it and why they do it. So there's actually two more paths that I have to show off. This is going to be what we call a reverse full clear. A reverse full clear is very good if you wanna path towards ganking bot, but you want to trick them. <laughs> it's, it's, okay, so if I go leashless, they don't know where I'm at, so everyone's safe on the map. If I start red and I am full clearing, then they're gonna not expect me to gank bot because they're like, okay, he's full clearing. He's not gonna be ganking our lane. So what you wanna do here 
Now this is really good against getting invaded. So any invade junglers, any of these strong early game junglers, I'm talking Kindred, Graves, Olaf, this path is going to be amazing into you because most junglers, they look to invade your other opposite side of the jung. So what you're going to want to do, you start red with a leash. Ideally want to get a leash. And what you're going to want to do, you start your red and you go blue and eh, the rest of the name is pretty self-explanatory. Reverse full clear. So red, blue, and gromp all the way down farm all your camps and then you look for a bot gank this isn't the, the path i made for juggling against closer i'll show you guys that one it's all it's very similar to this one but this one is to uh kind of go against people that invade you like i said so any invade junglers if you guys see any of these junglers that you know are going to invade you like let's say you see maybe master Yi with ignite you know someone who's very strong early on you're scared to fight maybe warwick you're sure as can be they're gonna invade you this is the smartest clear you can do this is a prevent invade path and it also tricks the enemies into getting ganked so you're gonna want to put two in Q. most paths do two in Q unless it's a gank path so just remember that because w is great set up for ganks but it's not exactly great for clearing so you're gonna want to farm raptors now and then krugs i'm gonna hold on to my e to go down to the krugs and we'll be good Okay. And now we just go do Krugs. So you're not going to be able to full clear before 315, but it'll be a little bit after. You don't have too much to worry about. Normally the enemy Jung will be, uh, I mean, if they're planning to invade you and it doesn't work, they're going to be behind you no matter what. So level four to level three advantage. See, that's the main thing is that uh, most junglers in general can't handle whenever Kane fights a Scuttle because you have a level advantage on them if you can path fast okay so ideally after this last camp you want to look bot gank or you want to look scuttle and then you can look mid afterwards and you just reset and you get an iron spike whip on your first reset usually okay so now we're going to be showing the very 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 last path now this is actually a path that i made up on the spot jungling versus uh closer it helped it helped me beat him which is very rare he's a very good jungler um but this is a path I did because in high elo, you can recognize certain traits of what a jungler is looking to do. So he was playing Olaf into Kane, which Olaf will destroy Kane early on. Any path's just as fast as Kane. So what I did is I took what I normally do and I add a little twist to it. So <clears throat> it's going to let the minions spawn and red buff will come here. Okay. So this is going to be a leash having clear you're gonna want to full clear it's gonna seem very normal but the idea behind it is kind of similar to the anti-invade path except except it's not really being scared of an invade it's more being scared of a scuttle fight so this is anti-scuttle fight path you do not want to fight a scuttle against a certain champ so any jungler that you know whether you have a level advantage or not will beat you i'm talking lee sin i'm talking olaf i'm talking um, Warwick, uh, maybe Elise. Actually, no, you could beat Elise before level 3. But, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys understand which champions you kind of want to look out for. Which champs do you not want to, uh, face? Oh, whoops, I accidentally have magical footwear. Sorry, my runes are bugged. I'm taking my standard blue cane rune, so. Doesn't really change much about the path. But, either way, what the path thing is going to be is you want to full clear your bot side, and instead of doing wolves, what you're going to want to do. You're gonna want to just do the straight blue gromp and then you farm wolves after you're gonna want to farm blue gromp farm wolves after and you're gonna path the opposite side scuttle now this is like i said very countering towards scuttle fights so let's say you don't want to fight a scuttle fight you know you're gonna lose this is the path you want to do okay you gotta get low if you do this, but no worries, Gromp heals you and then you have smite for wolves. So, like I said, if you get a leash, you're gonna path a lot faster. A lot of these paths, they look a little bit slow, but you have to remember that normally I'd get a leash, so I'd be at the scuttle when it spawns. And I'd be able to get the bot scuttle, and the enemy Jung, he's gonna see that you path, you started red, so he's gonna expect to see you at the top side scuttle. 
But when he doesn't, he's going to be confused. He's going to think, maybe I should go into his jungle and see if his camps are up. There's not going to be any camps there. And by that time, you're going to be bot scuttle and bot gank. Or mid gank. So it's very, very good. It's, it's like I said, it's something I made up on the spot. So it will help you out a lot. Like I said, we have pathing for every situation. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and a sub. If you have any more questions, uh, you know, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'll try and uh, answer as many as I can. It's going to be it for now, YouTube. Peace.